Hi, my name is Christian Vurings and I'm a psychiatry front-end developer. I'm currently working at Carrot, which is part of the University of Cambridge. Today I wanted to show you all how you can get started with psychiatry front-end development. So you guys and girls can start pushing fixes and new features to make the Sakai experience even better. Everything I'm saying in this video is based on a prototype development guide I wrote a while ago. And I would definitely suggest, if you're following along, to keep this document open. So let's go ahead and get started. Basically you need to have three software packages installed on your operating system. The first one is Git, a versioning system that we use to send patches, make tags and view changes. The second one is Java. Usually th this is already installed on your machine, but if it's not you should be able to use both Java 1.5 and 1.6. The last one is Maven. We use this to build Nakamura, which is the name for a psychiatry backend project. The frontend project is currently called Triakai UX, but maybe we're going to change this in the future. Apart from necessary software, we also suggest some programs like Aptana Studio, which are great for doing frontend jQuery development. So, our first line of code. Let me start up the terminal in Mac. The first thing we need to do is to increase the standard memory size for Maven, so we don't get any out of memory exceptions. You could enter this each time you build, but I would suggest to put it into a .mavenrc file in your home directory. Basically you can use any editor you want, but I'm using vi. Just make sure you don't have a .txt extension at the end. So I just opened vi, I'm gonna copy this, paste it in here and save the file. Just, I just want to make sure as well that this file is saved correctly. And as you can see, it is. So now we are going to create our main Sakai folder. We are going to use that folder for our frontend and backend code. First of all, we are going to check out the backend, which is done by a git clone which basically gets all the code from the server and puts it onto your machine. In case you're wondering, IB stands for Ian Boston, our lead backend developer. Now we have all the necessary backend code. We just need to go ahead and build it. Personally, I run all the tests. Maybe it takes a little longer, but in the end you will know that everything will be working fine. It can take a few minutes, so I'll be back when it's finished. As you can see, everything was built successfully. If you have a build error or you have any problems um, building Nakamura, I would suggest you make a post to the Sakai dev mailing list. Um, the link is also on the prototype development page. The only last thing we still need to do is of course run Sakai. And that's done by the following command. To test whether everything was successfully, you can go to localhost 8080 slash dev. In my next video, I'm going to show 
how you can separate front and back end code for the Sakai 3 project.